Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from Clash of Clans Manual, here with another video, and in this one I'm addressing a question that people ask a lot, and uh, it's how does the war match making system work uh, when you get matched up with clans? Because uh, a lot of people get mismatches, and I have some insight on the system in which uh, Super Saw uses to match you up with other clans in wars. So, basically this is kind of a two-part question. Uh, the first part has to deal with uh, how does your how does Supercell decide how good your clan is and how uh, the weight the war weight of your clan and then how do do they match you up in the search system once your war weight is determined and you hit the search button so to answer the first question about war weight basically each base uh, it's based on defense level wall level hero level I don't think pretty much none of it's based on your offense, so your troops, what level they are, has pretty much no effect, which is why people go 8.5, 9.5, upgrading offense first, because uh, it really helps your matchups in war, and it gives you a good advantage. But anyway, uh, it's pretty much defenses, walls, heroes. <clears throat> uh, new update made it so that defenses are more important. <clears throat> or sorry, walls and heroes are more important because it used to just be defenses, uh, but now walls and heroes are pretty important as well uh, for matchups. And basically, each base has a weight. So uh, you can see, like when you're about to attack a base, <clears throat> there's a war win bonus you get for hitting it. And there's also available loot within the base. Both of those can be used to determine the weight of a base. So let's say within the base, there's um, I don't know, 80k gold available. Uh, just in the base, that's basically your weight. So f for each base, <clears throat> it goes higher as you go up the war map. And if you want to see your war weight and your clan's war weight, uh, you have to visit a clan that's warred against you. And then uh, once you can visit them, look in the war log and see <clears throat> what the weight was of your clan and your individual members. But anyway, uh, Supercell basically gets a war weight for each of the members and then pulls that all together to make the clans war weight and then they when you hit search <coughs> sorry coughing a little bit uh, when you hit search you have your war weight but the system's a little bit crazy because usually it's gonna match you up with a clan of a similar war weight but the longer you search for the more it'll deviate from your war weight so if I search for my clan searches for 15 minutes uh, within those first 15 minutes, it'll only match us up with a clan uh, that's very similar in war weight to us. Well, however, if the clan has been, uh, sorry about that, if the clan has been searching uh, that you get matched up with for a long time, even if you're ma searching for a short amount of time, you'll still get matched up with them. So basically, let's say there's 10 clans all of the same war weight uh, searching at once, or two clans. Let's take those two clans of the same war weight searching at once. Um, if they're, even if they're kind of different in war weight, there's a little bit of a discrepancy. Uh, maybe a, enough that we would say it's a pretty solid mitch, mismatch. Uh, they could still get matched up if one clan's been searching for like five hours. Uh, the longer you search for, the more likely you'll get matched up with a clan. That's a mismatch for you. So, basically, you can get matched up with a tough opponent, uh, a mismatch, in the first five minutes. But the good matchups come where f both clans um, have only been searching for about ten minutes or so usually. And th there's exceptions because maybe uh, after two hours, a clan of about the same level of as you uh, starts the search and you can get matched up with them. But there's more of a chance after a longer period of time that you'll get matched up with a clan that's a uh, little bit different from you in war weight. One more way you can think of it is, <clears throat> let's say we'll assign uh, the letter X to every clan uh, that's been searching for 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, less than 30 minutes. Everything more than 30 minutes, we'll assign uh, the letter Y. So if you're an X clan, you can get matched up with Y clans, uh, but you're not... <laughs> You, you can get matched up with Y clans, but only if a Y clan is searching. If another X clan is searching, uh, you'll only get matched up with them if it's very close. 
uh, once you're a, you turn into a Y clan after 30 minutes, uh, you're more likely to get matched up with any random clan that's in the ballpark of what your weight is. So that is a little bit confusing, I know, but basically it is more likely to get a mismatch after uh, 30 minutes, and the longer it goes, uh, the more likely it's going to be a mismatch, and the greater the mismatch might be. So once again, there's going to be exceptions. You might get a great matchup after three hours, and you might get a really bad one after five minutes, but just know that the likelihood uh, is going to be uh, more likely to get a tough matchup the longer the war search goes on for. So that's why people reset their searches. Um, and obviously people are superstitious about what time you hit search, but I don't think there's a really a correlation uh, between what type of clan search at what hours. So hope that helped. Hope it made sense. I know it kind of you know, was a little bit confusing, but you can comment some questions. I'll try to help you in the comments if you're still struggling with the concepts. That's going to do it, though. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Secretron out.